Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Urinary. Thanks so much for inviting me over. Today we are making this fabulous, easy, drunken granny baby blanket. What is so great about this crochet baby blanket is, is how absolutely fast it is. We are only working in to the spaces, so it's a lot faster than looking for each stitch. Plus, it is a one row repeat, so perfect for watching TV or getting caught up with friends. And this tutorial even includes this adorable and easy crochet border, perfect for beginners. The tutorial is also available in left and right handed. I'll link those in the comments and description box under this video. If you want to follow along with a written pattern, they're available over on my website, secretyarnery.com. And you don't have to worry about being able to read a pattern. All of my patterns are written in plain English, just like you are sitting here right beside me. The finished size of my blanket is 32 inches wide by 44 inches tall, which is 81 centimeters wide by 112 centimeters tall. But of course, you can make your blanket any size. The multiple for this drunken granny baby blanket is five plus four, meaning you can chain any multiple of five and then add four more chains at the end. For this size blanket, I used 600 grams of saver from Ice Yarns, but of course you could use any yarn you have on hand. Just use the hook size recommended on your yarn label and then chain any multiple of five until your blanket is the width you want it to be. I used 50 grams of the same yarn but in a different color for my border. For my size yarn, which is a four size worsted weight acrylic or a 10 ply if you are in Australia, I am using a seven millimeter crochet hook just for my starting chain and a six millimeter crochet hook for my blanket. You will also need a pair of scissors, a needle for sewing in your ends, and for my size, I am using five stitch markers. But if you're making yours a different size, just grab a handful of stitch markers. We're gonna be putting a stitch marker in every 20 stitches. Here are the timestamps. You can jump back in to where you left off and let's get started. the drunken granny baby blanket go ahead and grab your stitch markers and a larger crochet hook than you are using for your blanket so I'm using a seven millimeter crochet hook just to make the chain so to start make a slip knot any which way you normally would shrink that down and pop it onto your hook and now you can chain any multiple of five so if you want to make your blanket a different size just chain five one two, three, four, and five, and then chain five again and five again, five again, until your chain is the width you would like your blanket to be. For me, I'm gonna do sets of 20, and I'm gonna chain a total of 105. I've already chained five, so now I'm gonna keep chaining until I have 20. So six, seven, 18, 19, and 20, like that. Now roll your chain to the side. We wanna be looking for these back loops. Just underneath the working yarn is our very first one, but there's one, two, three, just like that. We wanna look for this very first back loop right underneath our working yarn, and just pop a stitch marker into that back loop, just like that, and chain 20 more. One, two, three, 18, 19, and 20. So again, roll your chain to the side. Look for that back loop right underneath your working yarn. Pop a stitch marker in, just to mark every 20th chain, so you don't have to count them again. And now keep going, doing your sets of 20 until you've used up all of your stitch markers. So there, I've used up all of my stitch markers. And now to count your chains, all you have to do is count your stitch markers. So just count by 20s. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 90, and one. So that's 100. And we're gonna chain five more. One, two, three, four, and five. So that finishes our chains for our repeat. Now we're gonna switch hooks. So pop that seven millimeter crochet hook out. I've chained my 105, my multiple of five. Put your regular crochet hook into that loop. 
and you'll be using this crochet hook for the rest of your blanket. And chain four more. One, two, three, and four. So into the fifth chain, to count your chains, you don't count what is on your hook, you just count these V's. So one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna go into the fifth chain right down there. So into the fifth chain from your hook, and you could go into the back loop actually. It gives you a nicer finish. You don't have to, but it does give a nicer finish to your blanket. But if you're putting the border, you won't really see it. So into the back loops, if you're doing into the back loops, there is one, two, three, four, and here is number five right there. So I'm gonna work into the back loops just because, but you could work into the front of your stitches if you want to. So into that fifth chain from your hook, make four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Chain two, one, and two, and into that very same stitch, one more double crochet. One double crochet. Now we're gonna skip four chains. So four of these back loops, one, two, three, and four. And we're gonna work in to the one right here. It has a stitch marker in it. So into that same stitch, and you can take that stitch marker out if you like, if it's in your way. You can just pop it out. And make four double crochets. One. Two. three, and four, chain two, one, and two, and one more double crochet into that same chain. Just like that. So now we're gonna skip four stitches again, so four of these back loops, one, two, three, and four, and we're gonna work in to the fifth, right there. So wrap your yarn and into that fifth chain from your hook, four double crochets, one, two, three, and four, chain two, one, and two, and one more double crochet into that same space. So skipping four, one, two, three, four, and working in to the fifth right there, we are going to do these little blocks. So we're gonna be doing this along our entire chain. So skipping four, one, two, three, four, working into the fifth, into each fifth chain all the way along, we are gonna be doing four double crochets chain two, and one double crochet. So that's what we're gonna do all the way along our chain. And this does feel a little bit slow, a little bit fiddly, but that's the joy of working into your chain. We only have to be slow for this round. So there is my four double crochets, chaining two, and one double crochet into the very same stitch, or the very same chain just like that. So pause the video and keep working along, skipping four and into the fifth chain, or the fifth back loop, four double crochets, chain two and one double crochet into the same stitch. So do that all the way along your chain and I will meet you when we get to the end. When you get to the end of your chain, you'll have three chains left. If you don't have three chains left, you don't really have to worry about it. If you have extra, you can just unpick that last chain. And if you only have two, that's also all right. Just work in to the last chain after. Ideally, you have three chains left. So into that last chain, one double crochet. And that finishes row one. To start row two, or the repeat, this is what we're gonna be doing for the entire blanket. Chain three, one, two, three, and turn your work. 
Now into this very first space right here, the first space of our block, we're gonna do a block. So four double crochets, chain two, and one double crochet. So there's two double crochets, three, and four, chain two, one and two, and into that very same space, one more double crochet. Jump over into your next chain two space. So we're gonna be working into each of these spaces of all of our blocks. So into the next one right there, we're gonna do a block and our drunken blocks, four double crochets, chain two and one double crochet, all into the same space. So there's two, three, four, chain two, and one more double crochet into that same space. Just like that. So into the next space of our next block, we are gonna do our four double crochets. One, two, three, and four, chain two, and one more double crochet into that same space. Just like that. So you can pause the video and keep working along, doing a block of four double crochets, chain two, and one double crochet into each space of each block all the way along your row, and I will meet you when we get to the end. When you get to the end of your row, we have our one space left at the end of that shell just over here. We're gonna make one double crochet into the top of the chain. So we're not gonna go into the space, although you can if it's difficult, but going into this chain right at the edge gives you a much nicer finish, a nicer finished edge. So into the top of that chain, just right there, the top of that chain, two strands on the top of your hook. We're gonna finish with one double crochet. Just like that. So repeat this row over and over until your blanket is the height you want it to be. Now here is a cheat or a quick fix. If you have forgotten to do your chain two and double crochet, we can just pretend that this first stitch, our first double crochet, we can do our block into that very first space. Now you can of course frog your work or rip it, rip it, but if you don't want to, if you are beginning to crochet and that feels sad for you, you can just fake it. So you put in your four double crochets into that space, just in between those four double crochets, so af just after the first one. Do your chain two and your double crochet. So you make sure you do a normal block just like that, and then I'll just keep going a bit so you can see what it looks like. Just like that. So you can see where I fudged down below. This is my fudge right here, but if you are looking at it, and imagine it being larger, you won't really see that at all. So if you are new and you're crochet, you feel like you're crocheting really slow, you can always kind of cheat like that instead of frogging your work back. But of course, if you crochet super quick and you want everything to be perfect, of course you can go back and always fix it. So that is a little cheat and I hope it helps you. Were you wondering whose hands those are? Hi, my name is Krista. This is my secret yarnery. And if you want to see more, subscribe to this channel right now and check out my other tutorials. So pause the video and keep working along until your blanket is the size you want it to be. When your blanket is the size you want it to be, we're gonna do one row just to finish the top of these scallops, just so it matches the bottom edge. We want our top and bottom of our blanket to match. So to start your very last row, chain three, one, two, three, and turn your work. Into the space, one single crochet, chain two, one, 
and two, skip a stitch and make one single crochet into the second. So skipping this stitch right here, one single crochet into the second stitch. So one single crochet, chain one into this chain space, one single crochet, chain two, one and two, skip one stitch and into the second, that guy right there, one single crochet, chain one and make one single crochet into the space. Chain two, skip one, one single crochet into the second. Chain one, jump over to that chain space, one single crochet into the chain space. Chain two, skipping one and working in to the second, one single crochet. Chain one, into the chain space, one single crochet. Chain two, skip one and into the second, one single crochet. Chain one, into the chain space, one single crochet. Chain two, skipping one and into the second, one single crochet. So you can pause the video and keep working along doing your single crochet chain one and single crochet into the chain two space, chaining two and making one single crochet into the second stitch. So we're gonna do that all the way along uh, the top edge of our blanket. So pause the video, keep working along and I'll meet you when we get to the end of our row. When you get to the end of your row, do your chain one and single crochet just into the top of that chain to finish. One single crochet, chain one to secure your yarn, cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later, pull your hook up and your yarn through, and snug that down to secure. And that finishes your blanket. Grab your drunken granny baby blanket and look for your top row and have your pretty stitches facing forward. So they will have this cute little edge, your V's facing up, just at the top of your row, just this row here. And pop your hook into this corner. Grab a loop of your border color, whatever color you are using for your border. Put a loop of your border color yarn on your hook, bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail just holding it along the side of your work and chain one. So this counts as our first single crochet and now we're gonna be working along the side of our blanket. So into this big space right here, one single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and three double crochets into the same space. One, two, and three. Now into this little space right there, right after this shell or this set of stitches, there's a little space, you have to sort of poke your finger in to find it. One single crochet into that space. And now into this next big space, we're gonna do our big shell. So our shell starts with a single crochet, chain three, one, two, and three, and into the same space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Find the little space for your single crochet and into the next space, single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three, and into the same space, three double crochets. One, 
two, and three. Find your little space for your next single crochet. So single crochet into this little space and single crochet into the big space. Chain three. One, two, three. Three double crochets into the same big space. One, two, and three. So we're just doing these little drunken shells all the way along our, the edge of our blanket. So find your little space for your single crochet. Single crochet into the big space. And chain three. One, two, three. Three double crochets into the same big space. One, two, and three, and single crochet into the little space, and single crochet into the big space. And then you can pause the video and just keep working along, chaining three and three double crochets into the big space. One, two, and three, and then doing your single crochet into that little space right there. So you can pause the video and keep working along this side of your blanket and I will meet you when we get to the end of this side. When you reach your corner space into that spot, working over your tail if you have one, one single crochet to start, one half double crochet, two double crochets, one, and two, chain two, one and two, and now we're going to do the same thing going backwards on this other side. So two double crochets, one and two, one half double crochet, and one single crochet, just like that. So along the bottom of our blanket, our big spaces are our big chain spaces right here. And we're gonna do our small spaces into this little space down here. So we're not gonna work right into the stitch because that's only one strand of yarn. We're just gonna skip down into this space right here. So that's where we're gonna put our single crochet. So one single crochet right down there into the big space one single crochet and now we do our chain three one two three and three double crochets into the big space one two and three we're gonna do our single crochet right down here just to pinch all that together so into that space one single crochet and into the big space, one single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three, and three double crochets. One, two, and three. So our single crochets are gonna go into this space and we're gonna make that a little bit tidier along the bottom. Just like that of our blanket. So it looks a little stronger, it looks a little nicer. So into this space is where we're doing our single crochets. So one single crochet into that space and then your block into the big space, single crochet down here to pinch all that together, block into the big space and single crochet down here just to pinch all that together. So pause the video and keep working along the bottom of your blanket just like this and I will meet you when you get to the next corner. When you get to the next corner, right there, we're gonna do the same corner. So one single crochet just into that corner space, one half double crochet, two double crochets, 
one and two, chain two, one and two, and now we're gonna work back down that hill. So two double crochets, one and two, one half double crochet, one and one single crochet just like that. So there is our corner. Now we're going to work all along the side of our blanket. Big spaces get a big shell and the little space gets your single crochet. So to start off I have a big shell here so I'm starting with a single crochet, chaining three and three double crochets into that same space. So just our regular block we've been doing for our drunken granny border. There is two, and there's three, and single crochet into the space. Just like that. So you can pause the video and keep working along this side. Our big shell, so single crochet, chain three, and three double crochets into the big space, and a single crochet into the small space. All the way along this side of your blanket, and I will meet you when we get to the next corner. When you get to your next corner, our corner space is right there. So we want to go into that corner space. And of course, we can work over our tail. And we're just going to do our regular corner. So one single crochet, one half double crochet, two double crochets, one and two, chain two, one and two. And the same thing in the opposite order in the same space. <laughs> so two double crochets, just working our way down the hill, two double crochets, one half double crochet, and one single crochet. Now working along the top side of our blanket, we're going to be putting our shells into the small space, the one we have to kind of open up here, and the space we can see, those are getting our single crochets. So starting in our first space right there, we're going to start with a shell, so one single crochet, chain three, and three double crochets into that same space. One, two, and three, into the space, one single crochet, and one single crochet into the next space to start that shell, just like that. So chain three, one, two, three, and three double crochets into that same space. One, two, and three, and now into the space, one single crochet, and one single crochet into the next space to start our next block. So into these spaces along the top, those are getting our blocks, and into the space that you can see, those are getting our single crochets. So pause the video and keep working along the top edge of your blanket, and I will meet you when we get back to where we started. At the end of your row, we have our corner space, so that is where I'm gonna be doing my single crochet just right there into that corner. And remember where we started, that also counted as a single crochet. So now we've done both single crochets for our corner. So we're just gonna move right on to a half double crochet, two double crochets, one and two, a chain two, one and two, and two double crochets into that same space one and two and a half double crochet all into that same corner space and now we are ready to slip stitch to join so we're going to slip stitch right in to the top of that stitch to join right there so we can slip stitch and chain one cut your yarn and pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down
or we can also join with an invisible join, which is, uh, which is what I want to do because this is a pretty little blanket and I don't want to see a chain one sticking up, being a little bit glumpy. So I'm not gonna join yet. I just have my last half double crochet right there and I'm gonna cut my yarn. So long enough tail to sew in with a needle and just pull that yarn right up through that last stitch we made. Just up and through, just like that, and thread your needle. And this is a great time to use a blunt tip needle. If you are using sharp tip needles, just start this procedure with the eye of our needle, just working from this side. You don't have to use the pointy bit, use this dull edge right there. But if you have a blunt tip needle, you can use either side of it. And we're gonna go into that same stitch just underneath both loops, just where we would be putting our crochet hook. So bring your yarn through. And we wanna keep an eye on where our yarn is coming from. We wanna keep an eye on that stitch. Right there. And we don't wanna snug it down too much. And we're gonna go right back in to that same stitch where our yarn came from just like that, and there is our invisible join. Now you can just customize it, you can shrink it down so it looks like a regular stitch, just like that, and then sew in your tails and you're finished. And there is your fabulous Drunken Granny baby blanket with this super cute Drunken Granny border. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. I'm waiting for you in that video right there, and stay hooked.